everyone, welcome to vlog number 13. This is um, about an app called Perspective that I want to recommend to everyone. It's a journaling app, but the best journaling app that I've come across. It's not made for people with mental health issues, um, but I think it would be really, really handy for anyone with mental health issues. It's um, really easy, um, the interface is really easy, the features are awesome, and it for me it helps me keep track of my emotions and why I felt like that each day really well. Um, I think it would be a really good tool if you have a therapist or a counsellor that you go to to take it in and keep track of your week um, or what made you angry or when you had a good week or a bad week or a good day or a bad day and whatever. So the Perspective website um, is really helpful as well if you want to have a look through that. They say on there that the app sets out to provide greater insight and self-discovery which is kind of exactly why I love it. Um, it makes you really think, it has like prompt questions each day to make you have a little think about things you regret or things you wish you did better or what you were really proud of etc. But the best way I thought to show you um, Perspective is to take you on a little tour. This is what you see when you open Perspective. Um, it shows it to you in a calendar form. You can also see it as a list form which is the um, like penultimate button on, your, on the top right corner but I much prefer it in the calendar form. So starting from the top left these are the features that I love about Perspective. So as you can see here you have something called interests so you add these yourself when you first sort of download the app and they say the interests are the thing that matter most to you so i put socializing self-care yoga mindfulness trying new things and doing my vlog for me these are just things that on a daily basis kind of make me happy so they come up each day and you swipe left or right to say whether you did them th that day which gives you a greater insight at the end of the day or the week to see you know if you're doing the things that make you happy and how they're having an impact on your overall mood um, also top left we've got something called discover um, and I love this because you can look back and it has your weekly statistics so obviously this is from a little while ago now but as you can see across the top it has whether I put uh, I had a green day which is a good day a, a yellow day which is an average day or if there was a little red man with a sad face it would have mean it was a bad day you can see down here that it has logged Every time I wrote uh, the interest I was just talking about, every time I said that when I did that or not, if you look up and follow Friday down, the little orange man, you can see that there's just red lines, which means I didn't do any of the things that make me happy, which is maybe why it's a little yellow man and not a green man. So, um, yeah, with the interest, the green ones are the days that I did do it and the red ones are the days where I didn't do it. So if we go into... Oh, yeah, you can see, obviously, that you can... <laughs> do this journaling over years because it has every year so we go into 2018 and i'll show you february so as you can see here it keeps track of when i put it was a good day average day or that little bad day on the 23rd of february so you can swipe through i'm going to show you the 27th of january so at the top there it's got those interests i was talking about green is what i did and red is that i didn't do it or uh, I put obviously one input in here that I didn't have work in the morning. I went for a ski. I napped, yada, yada, yada. These purple ones are probably one of my favourite feet. Maybe the favourite feature I have about perspective. They're prompt questions. So they prompt you and you answer them and it adds it into your diary log for that day. I love them. As you can see, I do loads of them. They just make you think a little bit more um, about your day, what you regretted, what you loved about today, etc. And then you can also add pictures, which I think is a really nice little feature. This was our view when we went skiing that day, and I thought, how can I not add that? How can it not be a little green man when it was when that was my view that day? It was beautiful. So finally, I just thought, well, one, I'll breathe. I'll take a breath for the first time in a few minutes. Whew. And I thought I would show you... Um, I'd fill in yesterday to show you how we do that. So I'm going to put that it was a green day because I had a lovely day. Then the little orange heart is our interest we were talking about. So I definitely socialised. I definitely did some self-care. I didn't do any yoga. I did do some mindfulness. I wouldn't say that I tried anything new. And I did do my vlog because I planned this vlog. So that all comes up there for you. Then you write a quick input. So um, woke up early, relaxed and cross-stitched. Had a barbecue, had a chill evening. Usually I put a lot more than this. Some days I put like pages and pages of stuff if I've got a lot of, if I've got a lot of emotion I need to get out. So I do that. I'm going to add a little picture da -da -da -da, of me and my friends trying to do a panoramic at my barbecue. And then bottom left hand 
uh, oh thanks thanks low battery oh sorry let's just go into that again bottom left hand corner are those prompt questions that I was talking about the bit this is what I really love so which good habit did you follow today um getting to sleep at a decent time which I'm trying to do more often and you press the little arrow and it adds that in so there are loads of these little um, prompt questions were you productive today? Did you witness something memorable today? Did you try something new today? If yes, what? If no, why not? Which I just think they're really cool little questions. They make you um, think about your day and your feelings a little bit more, which is, I think, the biggest difference between this app and other journaling apps. Okay, so that was Perspective, um, the Carla Smith tour. Um, hopefully you see that it's like a really nice, bright, useful interface, easy to use. Um, tracks your statistics, you know, helps you remember things you love and how that can help um, impact your mood and um, yeah, it's insightful. I think it's really helpful for self-awareness. So download it. I do think it's only available for Apple phones uh, or iPads or whatever at the minute. I don't think it's available on Android but um, let me know if that's incorrect. I will add the link to their website down there. Um, remember to subscribe if you like my videos and hopefully see you next vlog.